G'day YouTubeons! YouTubeons? YouTubeons! <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Mick here, Iron Dundee. Today, I'm going to do a, something a little bit different. Not your normal riding. Yes, I'm riding now, as you can see. But, you know, I wanted to discuss a couple of things that you could do, which I think improves your videos and your brand. Now, the other night, I was sitting back, watching all my fellow community, watching the fellow community of YouTubers, and I noticed on some of them, on some of the videos, down the bottom corner here, somewhere around here, maybe a bit lower, they had their logo, their little icon. And I thought to myself, man, that's pretty cool. I wonder how I get that. So I had a look at a few others. Anyway, I was on uh, Bikes, Beards and Brews. Shout out to him. He's got a good channel. Go and check him out if you have. And he had his on the bottom corner and that's what got me thinking. How do I put that there? So, the thing is, I feel like I am technically savvy. I know enough about computers and phones and things like that to be able to do this sort of stuff. But like anything, I always tend to end up on YouTube or Google to find out how to do it. And I know for some of you, you may find this is pretty piss easy. But I wanted to sort of show you how to do it because the videos that are currently on YouTube are all for a previous I was going to say model, but not model. It was a previous upload. So it's not the correct version. So pretty much, it's about having to put that branding or that logo in the bottom left of your screen. When, you, when the person who's watching the video hovers their mouse over the top of it, it has an extra subscribe button. Look, you don't have to agree with me, it's fine. But I just thought everything that I looked up was 2020 and I had to actually work it out myself to how to do it for the 2021 version of YouTube. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I know it's not motor you know it's not motorcycle related. it's motor vlog related because I think it will I think it helps. So it's only a quick video just to show you how to do it and yeah, let's get into it. So here we are at YouTube. This is what I was talking about, this little icon. Um, you've got the little subscribe button there. It adds an extra layer of subscribing. And I just think it looks good. Um, shout out to Bikes, Beards and Brews um, for making me find this on his channel out of all the others. Anyway, so this is how we do it. First of all, click on your icon up the top and go to your channel. Your channel opens up. And you click on customize channel now under customization you have a section here called brand like I said you probably already know this and you've probably already done it but I felt that this needed to be advised because of the previous versions of YouTube it wasn't under here so this is the section here that we're looking at is the video watermark on the side but before you need to go here they say that it's recommended as 150 by 150 pixels, uh, but I found that a 200 by 200 works just as good. But basically, if you haven't already got one or you've got your logo and it is not at that level, jump into Canva or any other product that you use. I use Canva, I go Create Design, I click on Custom Size, and I put 200 by 200 create the new design. Now if you're like me 
under your uploads, you've already got your image, which is for me right down here, as it was one of the first things to upload. If you don't, then upload the image. I upload the image as such, I make it down to each corner, up to each corner, I have a 200 by 200. I click on, I type in a name, like upload, and I click download. Here, I click on transparency background. This should just remove this whole white area and be left with the Iron Dundee uh, symbol. Takes a couple of seconds to download. Get rid of the ads. It's finished. Go back to your YouTube channel. Click on upload. Go to your section where it is. So mine is here. I click on upload. It brings it to this visual watermark. And you click done and you're raised to take them back to the video watermark and it says end of video, custom start time or the entire video. I recommend clicking on the entire video. Once all done, click publish. And that now gets added to every one of your videos, even the ones that you have already done within your content or uploaded previously. So, I hope you enjoyed that. It was something that was a little bit different than I normally do, but I felt that it was kind of hard to find for myself. Others it may have been fairly easy, but I thought that was a good opportunity for us to try something new. So take care, back to the bike. So don't forget to uh, subscribe, like it, leave a comment if this was helpful or not. If it was helpful, I might try and do a few more of these things, you know, it just widens the scope of your niche, I suppose. But look, if you, if you hated it, that's cool too. Leave a comment, tell me. I'm a big boy, I got broad shoulders, you can leave constructive feedback. But anyway guys, have a good one, thanks for watching, catch you later, peace!